How much gaming is too much? Everyone knows that gaming is definitely bad, especially if you do it for long periods of time without taking a break. <coughs> Today, I'll show you how long each gaming session should be in order to stay healthy. Before I start, it depends on a person. First thing I want to talk about is age. I divide this into three parts. Kids less than 10, teens and young adults, and adults that are 25 and older. I would say that if you're less than 10, you shouldn't be gaming for more than an hour each day. And here's why. Your brain still needs to develop, and if you're gaming for less than like 4 hours a day, it's going to lead to behavior issues and mental issues. Now that isn't that bad. I play a lot of games when I was little myself. Definitely don't go over that 2 hour mark just to be safe from problems in the future. Now for teens and young adults, I would recommend you don't go for more than 5 hours. And here's why. I'm no scientist, but you do get more work in middle and high school. And school probably takes up like 9 hours of your life as a teen, including homework and sports. You probably have around 6 hours. And I would say if you're finished everything, play as much as you want. If you play more, it will probably hurt your grades and your social life more, but not really your health. Now for adults, I would say just take care of your job and your family first if you have one. There's really no point in video games anymore because you have so much more important stuff to do, so play as much as you want. I would say 5 hours max too here. Age isn't the only factor in how much you should play. Another factor is how you play during long sessions. For example, someone who takes breaks every half hour has good posture will definitely be able to game longer than someone who is eating chips on the couch, sitting in an awkward position. <laughs> Some tips to improve gaming in long sessions are taking breaks and you get up and move once a while. A ton of sources show that this 20-20-20 rule is super effective and it helps with your eyes. Here's how to do it. Look at something 20 feet away for 20 seconds every 20 minutes you game. This will help you stretch and calm down if you're losing a game. It will also help free your mind up as a whole. This really goes for watching TV and stuff too because it's kind of the same thing. If you feel like gaming is getting in the way of doing homework and even school, it's a sign you're gaming too much. Gaming addiction is an actual thing that I would like you to research it if you forget to do homework because of it. Another sign you're gaming too much is when you game instead of going outside with your friends. This is more of a social problem. I know if you don't go shopping with the fam, it's fine. But if you don't even go outside with your friends, gaming has just taken over you, my guy. These problems are why I suggest only gaming on your free time for less than 5 hours each day. Another sign you're gaming too much is if you're more aggressive when you game more. Like you yell more, you rage, and everything else. I know that games are frustrating, but if you act more aggressive to everyone else, even if you're not in the game, cut back on it. Now you might say this video is BS if you, let's say, play this game for 8 hours a day and you have that much free time. Well, let me tell you this. Even if you game for that long, and you have everything taken care of somehow, that's still very unhealthy if you don't take breaks. Because at the end of the day, it's still 8 hours of you sitting down watching a screen where you can do so many other and more productive things. Thanks for watching and let's have a discussion about this in the comments below.